Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, icons are finally back today. We've got greats of the game, icons and heroes, team two releasing today. We've looked at the leaks, but what is today going to look like exactly? An SBC for Rooney or Cafu? Maybe an icon or hero related evolution since it would fit the promo? We have a lot to talk about today and it's finally nice to be excited about promo cards dropping on this game let's cover it all today guys if you're excited for the promo today drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new let's go over yesterday's thursday content the end of the make your mark two week promo not super sad to see these go if i'm being completely honest they're live cards but they really just missed the mark instead of made the mark but damari gray was our last player sbc for jamaica it's not looking good for them to get upgrades with how they're performing so far in copa america but he does have finesse plus rapid plus and pinged plus honestly not a terrible card for the price fifty thousand coins one squad if you want to get it done it is there not too much else to say we do have a 50k pack in marquee matchups as well that might be a decent pack to get done and open up today for the brand new promo it's only 18 19 000 coins from scratch i bet it's pretty easy to get done though with some of the gold commons and stuff from the club those are the two sbcs from yesterday and if we go to objectives we were expecting xp and we got just the normal amount we didn't get anything special yesterday in terms of xp which is still leaving us a little confused as to how we are now less than two weeks away for the end of the season and a lot of people are still not nearing the end of the objective realm unless you've been really grinding the game which i know a lot of you guys have been i've been tweeted pictures of cruz or gerard who to choose right level 30 plus a lot of you guys are finally reaching with the new cup that was dropped yesterday and some of these other xp objectives but it still feels like ea needs to drop more it still feels like we're kind of behind maybe they don't want us all to get to the end of this objective season i mean that quickly maybe that's the case but i do know a lot of people are getting here they're claiming push gus right if you've been playing a lot of rivals and squad battles and champs and all those uh that's honestly one of the best places to get xp is through gameplay and those competitions that you get it from but yeah ea got to fix up with that xp now we did have a cup which crazily enough i have already completed it got it done super quick it was italy that was the nation yesterday that was focused upon and wouldn't you guess Italian cards are up like crazy. Probably one of the biggest cards rising yesterday from a lower budget to a higher budget is this Berardi from 80,000 coins up to 120k. I guess really he is just one of the cards that is going up. Barella was another one yesterday who went from 150,000 coins all the way to 300k plus and now he's back down. Guys, for any of these cards, if you're using them or if you have some in your club, it is always a good time to sell them on the first day or the day after these spikes come, these cups come out because that is when these Italian cards are in the most demand. And a lot of people were playing this cup yesterday. I saw a lot of teams that were having bronze silver and gold cards in them too so make sure you check your club for all italians because there could be some money to be made there just by checking your club you might have a random gold card that sells for like five six seven thousand coins that is an italian so i wanted to mention that as well that was all of yesterday's content on the game let's talk about our upgrades right because we didn't have any euro upgrades yesterday because of course there were no euro games as we wait until saturday for the knockout rounds to start but we do have copa america upgrades that are loading i guess you could say and the biggest and best is Darwin Nunez. He scored another goal as Uruguay had a very convincing win just a couple of hours ago. He is going to a 97 rated card early today. He is looking like, honestly, the best or one of the best SBCs from the Major Mark promo, already getting his goals, going up plus one, getting the chemistry boost as well. He's got the four play style pluses, and now all he needs to do is see the pitch three more times in Copa America, which is basically going to be every game they play. If they get three more games through the knockouts, winning a couple, he will get himself a 98 rated card and that'll be absolutely insane so that's looking like a really really good sbc can't wait to see the stat boost that he gets on that plus one probably going to be a pretty simple one but we'll have to see all the panama special cards are going to be getting plus ones as well at least the path to glories as the usa dropped a stinker yesterday really just not a good performance one player makes a bad mistake and then it just all goes down from there Really bad game for the boys. I was very upset. Still am very upset about how that went. But because of that, no upgrades here and prices dropping, right? Tyler Adams, you would have thought they would have got their second win moving into a game with Uruguay in the group. But instead, they're still only on one win and it's not looking good for USA to get out of the group after that performance. And that's why his price is dropping a lot. Now, we do have more Copa America today and there are a couple more 
uh, cards that are on the line for upgrades. You've got Colombia versus Costa Rica and Brazil versus Paraguay. Actually, Brazil is huge because a lot of these cards, if you remember, like Bruno Guimarães and others, dropped off a ton after Brazil drew their first game of the knockouts. This will be an opportunity for them to kind of reclaim that position as one of the top spots in the Copa America for who could potentially win it all. And some of these cards could continue to go back up in price. Now, a lot of them are. So again, what we would say is sell in the height because the Brazil are expected to win this game as well. And if they draw, even if they do win, you might see some of the prices dip down afterwards. So especially with all the icon stuff that's coming in today, I'd be very careful with these and do what we always say to do, sell in the hype with the Brazilian live cards, unless you're just trying to hold on for the long haul and you think Brazil is going to turn it around and you're going to hold for the end. So that's what I would do there. Looking forward to those games tonight for sure and the upgrades to come. Now, the last thing is actually really interesting. If you were in the stream yesterday, we talked about the first leaks of FC 25, which were already... Well, I guess it's kind of early to hear news about that, but they're leaks. They're not confirmed in any stretch of the imagination, but I want to just touch on it briefly because it was big news yesterday. There's a new game mode coming to Ultimate Team this next year in FC25. It's called Penta. And just a high-level overview, it is a combination of like Volta and Pro Clubs inside of Ultimate Team where you use an Ultimate Team card, but you're playing with other friends and a goalkeeper AI card. It sounds really cool. It sounds really fun and interactive and I'm just hoping with a very positive skepticism I'm just I'm being very careful um, that this would be a, a W I just hope that EA treat this game mode seriously because we've seen them add new game modes in the past and they have not been kept seriously and they just kind of fall off I mean I don't know I have a lot of questions and we talked about this a lot more in depth and had a really good conversation back and forth as we were reacting to the leaks on the stream yesterday that is on the second channel if you want to go ahead and check that out I'll link it up above right here but there's some more talk about that and the new manager like play style or chemistry style type of thing that they're adding into FC25 as well. Again, these are leaks. They are not 100% true or certain yet, but I think we're getting close to some FC25 news, like a trailer or something in the next week. So we'll hopefully we'll get our first kind of you know, bits and pieces of information about that with the next game upcoming, which we hope there are some definite changes, especially to the gameplay. So not to get too into depth on that, but that is some news from yesterday. Let's focus back on today, though, because we have icons coming back to this game, and it's actually nice to get excited for a promo Friday once again. With all the icons that are coming out today, we've seen the leaks, right? We had the whole entire team leaked, and we'll talk about that again here now. These are all the icons we're expecting to see in the game today. Maybe there's a mini release. Maybe a couple of them aren't dropped today, but they haven't been doing mini releases recently. Maybe that's because of all the Euro cards are live, but I guess these cards are live too, still as greats of the game icon cards. I'm really excited for these, man, because we got all the big names, Ronaldinho, Zidane, Cruyff, R9, Hullet, Henri, you know, Roberto Carlos, Zico, Vieira are getting cards in here. There's so many icons that are dropping today. And all that I can remember is Whenever EA dropped the full icon and the full hero promos, I know I mentioned this already, but it really sets the expectations pretty high because the Galazzo promo from earlier on this year and the Trophy Titans promo in FIFA 23 were really, really good. So my expectations are high for this because all icon and hero promos usually perform. Now, will all these cards be like cheap and affordable and everybody will be able to pack them today? Definitely not. We know how promos work. Here's what I would expect with today. The top tier upper echelon cards, especially because these are live, right? Dino, Zidane, Hullet, Henri, Ronaldo, R9. They're going to be expensive. There's probably going to be multiple icons today that are 5 million coins plus, probably some of them like 10 mil plus. Come on, a new R9, a new Dino. They're going to be very, very expensive. But I also think there's going to be plenty of cards that are in the 500k to 2 mil range, which is going to be a very affordable range for a lot of people that maybe have not used a Vieira or a Torres. Roberto Carlos, Mateus, you know, I'm, I'm looking at some of the middle tier cards in here that could be affordable today. Just being completely honest, we don't know the ratings. We don't know how the stat boosts are going to be on these cards, but imagine if Fernando Torres today with really good stats and potential upgrades for Spain is like, you know, four or 500k. That would be really, really hype. I think the pack weight will be better than we all expect because of those Golasso and those Trophy Titans promos. They can't just drop a whole bunch of icons and then nobody pack them, right? They make the middle to low tier decently packable. Speaking of the low tier, there's definitely going to be some cards. I know we'd look at Trezeguet, Zambrata, Rykard, um, Sanchez maybe being on the lower tier. We don't know what EA is going to rate these cards and how they're going to boost them, 
but you would imagine that there are going to be some quote-unquote fodder ones, right? Like with Team 1, we had Sucair, who was pretty cheap. Luis Hernandez was decently cheap. Ned that as well. But uh, even remember, like I, I think back to PTG, and I packed a lot of these icons, like Schmeichel, Nedved, Vidic, I was able to pack. Luis Hernandez, I even packed Petit as well. They were pretty cheap when they were in packs, except for Dalglish and Rivaldo, right? Those are really expensive cards. So I have high hopes for these cards today, and I think they're actually going to be pretty plentiful. Now, here's my next question. These cards all drop with three playstyle pluses, of course, because one of the upgrades for the icons is scoring two goals, they get a plus one. Scoring four goals, they get a playstyle plus or a 99 face stat for a goalkeeper on the cards since they don't give playstyle pluses to goalkeepers. Here's my question. I know I've been anticipating that all of these will be dropping with three playstyle pluses because they would yet have goals to be scored for upgrades to come. I think I'm still expecting things to work in that way, especially with all the nations that are inside of here moving into the next round of the Euros and currently in the Copa America. I'm expecting all these cards to drop with three playstyle pluses with the potential upgrades on the line. Now, the only thing that would change that is if they actually drop these cards today and the heroes as well, since we haven't looked at them yet. And they would drop any of them with four playstyle pluses because they have already hit the upgrade kind of criteria. And if EA is upgrading these cards based on the start of the Euros or Copa America, that's the question that we're asking because we do not know the answer yet. Again, the thing we're going off of is in game for the existing grades of the game, it says that they're based on the form of the relevant tour tournament starting on the day of their release. So that's the biggest question I have for today. If that's the case, I do think that a lot of these or all of these cards are going to start with three playstyle pluses because if they can get another one added on they're definitely not going to allow for five playstyle pluses just after four was made possible so that's kind of what i'm thinking just kind of to put that expectation out there uh, but again remember these are live cards they get upgrades because they're great to the game and all we need is the goals right we're rooting for the goals but since these cards are towards the latter part of the competition or the middle part of the competition now especially for the euros items there's lesser chances to get those goals so that's going to be very interesting if, in fact, the upgrades are not kind of like from when they were before they were in packs, if they're from when they drop onwards. Now, for these cards and for the pack weight again today, guys, there's so many saved packs. This kind of gives me vibes back to the beginning of Team of the Season for like the Live Tots promo and for Premier League Team of the Season where there were so many saved packs, a lot of them really good. How many of you guys have saved your rivals rewards, maybe your champs rewards even because you knew the pack weight was not very good for what was in packs. It's what's leaving packs today, the Make Your Mark cards. And we had the leaks for these icons so early. I think a lot of people started saving packs. And because it's icons anyway, People are going to be ripping these packs today. And also, I think people are going to be opening a lot of store packs. I'm just saying this all to say, I think there's going to be a lot of supply of the icons early. It's, I think it's going to hit pretty heavy today because there's going to be saved up packs that are going to be ripped right off the bat to try to pack the best and the most number of icons possible. Best chance for some of those icons, right? I'm excited for 8410s, some of the other objective packs that are there. I think even people are going to go to the store, which we don't like, especially when it's with FC points, right? With coins, usually the good uh, store coin packs aren't dropped right away. Uh, but even to mention that, I don't even know if I like, just this is a step backwards in the conversation, but the store packs that have been added to the code, I don't think are as good as the 650k pack from Make Your Mark and from PTG. The best pack is this one right here, an 85 times 20 with two players guaranteed to be 88 plus and two great to the game player items, one of which guaranteed to be an icon. That is not as good. Uh, I guess technically this is the best pack right here. There's an 84 times 40 with 587 plus and one great to the game player. So hopefully this is cheaper than 650,000 coins unless there's going to be some like icon tax in here. I know you get two guaranteed ones in there, but it's 85 times 20. And the 650K pack that we have right now is an 85 times 40. So just to put that into perspective, how it might be a little bit worse in terms of the big store packs later on this weekend, people are going to be open packs like crazy today. And I think that means the supply is going to be pretty heavy in the first hour or two like remember during those tots that i was mentioning those tots cards were supplied crazy heavy in like the first hour first half an hour even and then you saw some prices go up from there that might be a trend that happens today with some of these icons we'll just have to see how fast they're hitting the market we'll be watching that very very close today on this game now that's enough about the packs what's going to be in packs and stuff like that 
let's talk about SBCs because what's a promo without a good SBC? Last Friday, we had Darwin, right? And that was like the best thing of the Make Your Mark promo. Today, we're definitely going to be getting an icon or a hero SBC, right? Well, we have the leaks, right? We know about the big names. I think it's either Rooney or Cafu today. It's a Friday. They got to drop a big name on a promo Friday to set the record straight. I think it's going to be Rooney. That's my guess. We have no official leaks. I bet it's leaked before content today. Wayne Rooney, if he was dropped at SBC, would be really, really hyped. Remember this future stars Rooney from a little while ago. Um, even those stats, 94 pace, 92 shooting, and 89 dribbling is you know, usable, maybe. I mean, he needs a play style, right? He only had one play style back then. He's going to have probably three released today. I know England have not been in the best of form and they haven't even been scoring that many goals, but it's going to be a special Wayne Rooney car that's going to be definitely juiced. And if the SPC is priced well, again, as I mentioned, a lot of people are going to have fodder today. A lot of people are going to go and do that SBC. So speaking of SBC fodder here for just a second, I actually think it might be a good kind of thought process, like we mentioned yesterday, to be watching fodder in that first hour or two today as people open packs. Of course, usually fodder does not rise a ton on Fridays. I know we have an icon SBC that is out that's going to refresh tomorrow before it goes away on Sunday. Uh, but just watch fodder today because Wayne Rooney actually might, if he's a really good price and he's a really, really hyped with the stats and stuff, of, he might make some of the fodder cards go up as people are going to have a lot of untradeable. They're opening from packs. They might have to go and finish out squads. Maybe even team of the weeks and team of the season cards could go up even further today just off of people doing SBCs. And those cards are required in a lot of different SBCs. So that is something to watch out for today. Evos, right? Of course, we think of a promo Friday. We think of good Evos. Now, also, last shout, if you want to do the Euro Attacker, Academy Evolution, or the Copa one, those are expiring today, just to kind of shout that. But we should have a new Evo today for sure. Question is, will it be Icon or Hero related? That's what we're thinking because it's an Icon and Hero related promo. We will just have to see. Maybe there's a leak for it pre-content. Maybe there's not. Like I mentioned with the SBCs, like there should be a leak, whether it's Rooney or Cafu. We'll get that information pre-content today. Just be watching out for Twitter because I'm sure that will be there. But for the Evos, it's been hit or miss with Evo leaks recently. Like sometimes, honestly, a lot of the Evos have not been leaked and they just drop and it's a bit of a surprise, which I have no problem with. And I actually like that. But we'll just have to see what happens today. Now let's talk Mark a little bit, right? We already mentioned the prices of the greats of the game icons might be coming in a little cheap straight away with all the pack supply flooding the market. What about these cards? The Path to Glory is right. My favorite cards to be trading with. You can see on the transfer list. I got a lot. I have been buying and selling a lot. I still have two Sabitzer and I feel pretty, pretty good about this card. But guys, I also do believe there could be some more panic on the market today in and around the content drop, maybe even before content, if... The cards that are leaked look really good. If the prices of the new icons and heroes are actually decently affordable and they're packable, it's going to make people want to go and change their team out. And it might mean some of these cards drop. But again, these are the most hyped cards on the game for upgrades. And I would keep an eye closely on any of these that you think have A, potential upgrades to obtain and B, have a good chance at getting those upgrades, right? Whether it's a game that's being played on Saturday, Sunday, maybe even tonight for a Copa game, the Brazilian cards, like if Bruno gave a rice were to drop, that'd be a great card you want to watch because he plays later on tonight. But maybe you play a Saturday game or a Sunday game that sort of thing you kind of keep in mind if there are drops on these cards and maybe even some of the Make Your Mark cards as well, right? I mean, yeah, sure. Carvajal, 685. Konate's back up. He was a million coins. Now he's 1.2. You know, we've already seen McAllister go back up. He was 1.1 after the Argentina game went down a lot to 1.1 mil. He's back up a little bit. Just keep an eye on some of these cards because there are definitely upgrades that are coming for them. It's just a matter of time, uh, but just be careful and watch out for the content today. But the PTGs are by far my favorite to be investing and trading with right now because they are live. But I think the icons are going to take a lot of hype today. Remember the icons like, again, Petit and Balak and Haji, how much hype those card has had and do have still. There's going to be a lot of hype for the new icons today as well, especially if there are good upgrades on the line and depending on how EA decide to do that whole upgrade scenario with them. So that's kind of one of the things I wanted to mention about the market if you're still out there trading. I think the part of the market that would be in danger the most today would be probably like team of the season cards that are still kind of expensive and maybe even some of the make your mark cards. I think these icons could maybe like correct the market a little bit from some stuff that's maybe still too expensive. Now, a lot of stuff has dropped down in price 
in the preparation and maybe even the sell-off, the panic, you would say, for the promo that is dropping today. But I still think that there's um, there's potential for some stuff to go up still, and there's some potential for others to go down. It really just depends on how the new cards look today. A couple other things I want to mention to end off the video. This is a leak that we absolutely love to see, but it might not be dropping today. FIFA Trading Romania said a crafting upgrade is set to come back during the greats of the game promo. This is amazing. We have needed this, right? Remember the last crafting upgrade was during La Liga team of the season and it gave us a 77 times five pack. If something like that were able to drop again, that would be mint. So EA, drop another, maybe make it like an 80, 80 plus times five would probably be too expensive and too annoying to get done. Maybe like a 78 five or a 79 times five. That would be really, really nice for crafting all the SBCs and especially all the objective packs that would give from that objective as well. Oh, I can just see it now. It would be amazing. So best of luck today, you guys. We're opening packs. Good luck. I hope you guys pack icons. We'll be opening them in the stream. We'll be watching the market prices because genuinely there's a lot of hype for today. I'm going to open this, you know, random 80 times two pack. Just get it out of the way. There's a lot of hype for today. Hopefully EA deliver. Give us good cards, good stat boost, and a pack weight that feels like we have a chance at packing some icons and some heroes. So again, best of luck with your packs. I will see you guys in the Twitch stream today. That link is down below in the description if you want to check us out there. If you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Comment down below if you have any questions and have yourself a great Friday. I'll see you guys in the stream today. It's been Nathan with Count. See you there. Peace out.